Hello and hi everyone. So um, let's have a look at this example here. We have a set of numbers with um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 elements here. And we want to classify them accordingly. And we have also our Venn diagram here to help us if we need to. So first and foremost, I would like to, uh, let's recall the definition of each type of these numbers. So the first one is natural numbers here. So natural numbers is are, are numbers that we use for counting things and objects. And we denote natural numbers with capital N And the second one is what we call as the whole numbers. And whole numbers are basically natural numbers, include 0. And we denote the whole numbers with capital W. And the next one is integers. Integers consist of natural numbers and 0, and also the negative part of natural numbers. So integers consist of those three elements. The next one is what we call as rational numbers and we denote rational numbers with capital Q capital Q and rational numbers are just numbers that can be represented as a fraction of two integers and in decimal form it is either terminating or recurring. And the last one, the, the fifth one, the fifth types, are the is the irrational numbers. And we denote irrational numbers with Q bar. Capital Q bar. And irrational numbers are not rational numbers. So uh, now let's classify them. So let's have a look with the first example, number nine, negative nine. So negative 9 cannot be natural numbers. Why? Because, because natural numbers start with 1, 2, 3, and so on. And it's, it is also not include in, cannot be included in whole numbers because whole numbers start with 0 and then the natural numbers. What about integers? So negative 9 can be included into integers because it has the, the, the negative uh, natural numbers, the negative part of natural numbers. So negative 9 is integers. So uh, let's say I use this, the other color of pen here. So we have negative 9. And negative 9 also can be included in rational numbers. Why? Because negative 9 can be written as negative 9 over 1 and also negative 9.0. So it is, it obeys the definition of rational numbers. So negative 9 can also be included in rational numbers. What about next one? Set 7. Set 7 is irrational numbers. Why? Because Set 7 cannot be expressed in, as a fraction of two integers. And also, it, it, it doesn't have, it, it's, it is neither terminating nor recurring decimals. And what about 1 over 1 third? 1 over 3? 1 third? 1 third is, it is natural numbers. No, cannot be because 1 over 3 is not for counting. And it's, it is also not belongs to whole numbers. 1 over 3 is also not belong to integers. 1 over 3 or 1 third is one of the example of rational numbers. And then what about pi? Pi is irrational numbers. For the same reason, it is not rational numbers. What about zero? Zero is not natural numbers. Zero is not natural numbers, but but it is 
one of the element of whole numbers. So 0 is whole numbers and it is also integers and it is also rational numbers. So 0 is the element of whole number. It is also the element, one of the element of integers and it is also a rational number. And what about number 4 here? Number 4, yes, it is natural numbers. And it's also whole numbers. It is also integers. And it's also rational numbers. So, number 4 is natural number. It is also whole number. It is also integer, and it's also a rational number. And what about the seventh element here? We have 5.125125, etc., etc. So we can see here, the, the decimal forms is not terminating. It is, it is not ending with 5. But it has a pattern here. 1 to 5, number 1 to 5 is repeating itself. So 5.125125 1 5, 5 can, be, can be written as 1 to 5 with bar on top of 1 to 5. So um, this one, this number, is what we call as rational number. So um, we have classified all the elements of the set of number here. So um, let's move to the other example. And I would like to recommend you to, to, to pause this video first and try it yourself. So um, we have another set of numbers here with negative set 5, negative 2, negative 1 over set 2, 0, 1, set 3, 2, e to the power of 2, log 100, pi, 3 over 2, 5, and set 16. So, uh, what about negative set 5? Negative set 5 is irrational numbers. So, uh, negative sub 5 belongs to irrational numbers because we can we can't represent it as a fraction of two integers and also it doesn't it, it is not decimal it's not terminating decimals nor recurring decimals so negative sub 5 is irrational numbers what about negative 2? Negative 2 is included in, na in, in rational numbers and also integers. Next one is negative 1 over set 2. Negative 1 over set 2 is not rational number. Why? Because set 2 is not integers. So it, it doesn't obey, it's that, it's, it does not obey uh, the, the definition of rational numbers. So negative 1 over set 2 is irrational numbers. And next one is 0. 0 is not natural number, but it is a whole number. It is integers. And 0 is also element of rational numbers. So 0 is include or uh, elements of three types here. What about number one? Number one is natural number. It is a whole number. It includes in integers and is also the element of rational number. So number one is natural number. It is whole number. It's also integers. 
It's also a rational number. What about set three? Set three is irrational numbers. Good. And number two is natural number. So it is also a whole number. It's also integer, positive integer, and it's also a rational number. And next one is e to the power of two. E to the power of two is irrational number. And next one is log 100, which is equal to 2. So log 100 is basically just equal to 2. So log 100 is natural number. It is whole number. It is integers. And it is also rational number. And next one is pi. Pi, as we know, is irrational number. And 3 over 2 is rational number. 5 belongs to natural number, whole number, integers, and also rational number. And last but not least, set 16. Set 16 is just equal to 4. So set 16 is not a rational number, but it is rational, it is integer, it is whole number, and it also belongs to natural number. So uh, I hope this video helps you in understanding the relationship between the types of number and how we can classify real numbers. Till next time, bye bye.